topping the skinny headlines this morning, Spider-Man. The actor who will be the new face of the superhero is now revealed. He is Tom Holland. The 19-year-old actor was announced by Sony Pictures and Marvel Studios as the new Peter Parker, a.k.a. Spidey. Okay, so the movie is especially significant because it will bring Spider-Man into the Marvel Universe, finally placing him among his fellow Avengers. Holland's first appearance, by the way, as Spider-Man on screen will be in Captain America. Civil War due out next year with standalone Spider-Man films to follow. And the actor took to Instagram showing he was well qualified for the role with some serious nice acrobatics. Show. Look at that. And before this announcement, though, information had leaked from the Sony hacking, which included emails between studio executives that said that this newest Spider-Man character cannot be black hmm. or gay. So some fans and critics were still hoping for the franchise to receive an update after all you know, Spider-Man the comics, Miles, Mor Mi Miles Morales is African-American. See him right there. Not such the case on the big screen. Well, Mark Wahlberg is an Oscar-nominated yes. megastar, but let's not forget his funky oh, beginnings. You, you, you that. love this. this in his Calvin. Time in his life. It's the first time that the world learned about Wahlberg's greatness, Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch with the hit Good Vibrations. But before he dropped the Marky from his name, along with the poor old guys, the Funky Bunch, the song signaled that Wahlberg was following in his big brother Donnie's footsteps, Donnie being a member of the enormously popular boy band, the New Kids on the Block. And the other night at Madison Square Garden, Mark took to the stage with Donnie for the first time in 20 years. Truly a reunion for Mark because he was actually an original member of New Kids before leaving after three months. That paved the way, of course, for Joey McIntyre. They played good vibrations, but apparently Mark wasn't really feeling the funk enough. He unfortunately didn't perform. He said he shook hands. He hugged his former bandmates. That was it. And another milestone, Anthony Geary, known best as Luke Spencer, walked off the set of General Hospital for the final time. For 37 years, of course, he played Luke on the soap opera, which included one of the most iconic moments in television history, the marriage of Luke and Laura. Wasn't that like 1980? More than 30 million people tuned in then. And Geary earned a record eight Emmys for his role. Wow. It was an emotional goodbye on the set with Gene Francis, who played Laura. Returning for the occasion, Luke's final episode of General Hospital will air later this summer on ABC. Sorry, we don't have any spoilers for you on this one. But he's gone. And finally, we say happy 14th birthday to the Little League pitching phenom from Philadelphia. She received an early birthday present yesterday, getting drafted not by a Major League Baseball team, though. But by the Harlem Globetrotters. Despite being a lights-out pitcher, Monet's favorite sport is actually basketball earlier in the year. She joined the legendary Globetrotters for some fun on the court, even scoring five points. The Globetrotters draft is more symbolic. It's not a binding agreement, but we're sure the Globetrotters and any team in the entire sports arena would be happy to have her.